Hey, you there, Indians. You're perfect, just the man I'm looking for for my movie. Can you come with me for a little bit? Will you? He needs a serious makeover if he's going to cut it from my movie. Oh, and speak very slowly because he, he doesn't know English. <laughs> hmm, she's right. You need a massive makeover. Here, come, come down. Where am I? Uh, you're in a major motion picture one that the director's been working on for ages. You'll be paid, of course, with lots and lots of new land, so don't worry. Hmm. Face is too white. Not Indian like at all. There, see? That wasn't so hard. Now you look like a real Indian. But what I am. Here are some real Indian clothes. Not like what you're wearing. Go change into them. And hurry up, the director's waiting already. There, you look perfect, just like a real Indian. Hmm, something's missing now. Here, come, come sit down. Um, oh, oh, I know. Feathers. You know, real Indians wore feathers all the time. Okay. You knew that, right? Of course you knew that. Anyway, uh, I think I'm done with you. I think you're ready for the director. Come on, hurry, let's go. There you are. Will you hurry up and bring him in? We need to get him situated for the movie. Okay, here's your spear. Be sure not to lose it. Understand? What is this for? Hey, Indian, enough with the stalling. Turn to the left and get ready to spear that American soldier. Spear? Spear? You know, the, the guy in the blue outfit will come in and try to hurt you. So don't try to really, you try to hurt him, but don't really hurt him. I mean, I know how savage you Indians are, but that's, that's not good publicity for Hollywood. Okay. No, no, no! Cut, cut, cut! Listen, Indian. The entire American population is going to be watching this film. And I know it's, it's so hard for you, but you need to do a good job. You got that? Yeah. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Right, and don't worry, you're gonna get a huge chunk of land all those you can farm on, so let, let's keep going. <laughs> Indian, what are you doing? He tried to stab me. That's what he's supposed to do. Just fall over when he stabs you, okay? And yell unintelligently when you do. <laughs> oh, sorry, I used big words. Just make loud noises like you do at home, okay? Oh, oh, God. Oh. There, perfect. That captures the essence of Indian culture. What's this for? It's uh, a book for educating the Indian, you know? Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course. Educate me, but I already know how to read. Oh, Indian, you don't have to tell us that. It's okay, we all know that Indians can't understand English. It's okay, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay too. Just, just look at the book, okay? That's a wrap. Excellent job, Indian. I think that's all these we have for you, so I'll come and take it to where you have to stay. You mean my home? Yeah, yeah, your home. Wait, wait. There you go, Indian. Thank you for your service for us. What are you doing? Where's the land you promised me? Land? What land? All the land beyond to the United States of America, to the Americans. Besides, what? You don't understand our language anyway. I'm, I am American. My people were here first. I'm a person too, you know. Ha! Look at Indian. Let's take some pictures for our documentary. Yes, yes, that's perfect. That captures the essence of Indian life. Now let's go film some Italian gangsters. Oh yeah. If only that director had never come.